Yes. It's not happening until next weekend, but PennDOT wants to give drivers a lot of early heads up so you can make your plans. And BC10's Lauren Make is live along Columbus Boulevard with the details. Lauren? Yeah, Tracy, that is exactly the idea here. PennDOT wants to get the word out now so that drivers can think ahead. They can think about those detours, think about those delays, and think about just avoiding this stretch of northbound 95, if you can, over that weekend so that workers can have the room to safely do some demolition. Construction has already been underway alongside motorists for the 95 cap project. But for one weekend this winter, it's all construction, no motorists. We strongly advise that motorists avoid the closure area and the surface streets in the vicinity of the work area. PennDOT is planning a closure early next month, starting at 6 a.m. February 3rd with one lane closed, then closing northbound 95 from Columbus Boulevard to 676 West. That's exits 20 through 22. If I am on any of these routes and I'm coming towards this area, when am I going to start to see messaging telling me something's different today? Yeah, as of today on Monday, we're starting to light up message boards across the area to get the word out that there's going to be a closure here on 95. PennDOT officials met with reporters today and are planning outreach to drivers to try to get them ready and planning detours for different driver scenarios. Uh, from the Chester area, you could go Commodore Barry around. You could take Blue Route to Route 1, all the way up to 76. They say they're also working with local and state police. It's a kind of like snow removal. It's all hands on deck situation. Harold Windish is assistant district executive for construction. He says PennDOT worked to avoid weekdays and big events in South Philly this winter and in getting the work done now he says they also have their eye on a big moment for the city in 2026. I don't want to restrict 95 when we have this influx of everyone coming in and the World Cup and that's that's another driving factor for this. When it comes to getting the word out to drivers about the February closure, Windish is also thinking about another big spotlight moment for Philadelphia a number of years ago when the Pope came to town. And I remember that weekend because I, I went down 76 to 95 and there was no one around. Um, and that's what we're hoping to get here today, to get the word out, please stay away, if you can, stay away that weekend. We're fine and all it. And PennDOT is expecting they're actually going to have to do a closure like this uh, several times, twice on the northbound side, twice on the southbound side. We don't have dates for all of those yet, just this first one starting on February 3rd. They have worked out delays for this up or detours for this upcoming one, and we have put the maps that they have worked out on our website. That's NBC10.com, so you can go there and check out uh, where you might have to go to get around the closure. Live at Penn's Landing, I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News. All right, hopefully everybody gets the word out, everybody gets the message, and make plans for it. Lauren, thanks.